After studying this module, you shall be able to learn about the physical properties of dioxygen molecule as well as the chemical properties and reactivity of dioxygen molecule. We will also come to know about common modes of binding of di dioxygen as ligand in its metal complexes. Some important dioxygen metal complexes will also involve as well as we will also see the synthetic methods for the synthesis of various dioxygen complexes. Dioxygen as we know is a life supporter molecule that is involved in cellular respiration. It is also involved in corrosion, combustion processes, biological oxidation by various metalloenzymes such as oxygenases and various industrial processes. In most of these processes biological or abiological, the dioxygen binds with metal ions to form a dioxygen metal complex in one way or the other. It can bind reversibly or irreversibly. The major functions of molecular oxygen are to act as a ligand as well as a reagent in transition organometallic chemistry. For example, in respiration, dioxygen binds reversibly to the iron atom in hemoglobin and myoglobin whereas in corrosion the formation of metal oxides takes place by the oxidation of pure metal with atmospheric dioxygen leading to the formation of various metal oxides. Hence the isolation or synthesis characterization and studies of dioxygen metal complexes are of particular interest to biochemists, electrochemists and various industrial chemists also. Now we will see what are the properties of dioxygen molecule. The experiment where liquid dioxygen was found to be held between the two poles of a magnet demonstrated the paramagnetic nature of dioxygen molecule. Whereas classical bonding theories such as valence bond theories failed to explain the magnetism and in dioxygen and considered it as a diamagnetic substance. The molecular orbital theory which is based on the bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals successfully explained the paramagnetic behavior of dioxygen. According to the molecular orbital theory, the outer shell electronic configuration of molecular dioxygen can be written as follows. The presence of two unpaired electrons with parallel spins in the two pi type 2p orbitals demonstrates the paramagnetic behavior of molecular dioxygen. This includes a diradical character to the triplet ground state dioxygen molecule. Since the antibonding molecular orbitals of dioxygen are half filled, it can accommodate two or more electrons. Due to the half filled antibonding molecular orbitals of dioxygen, it can exist in several charged forms. For example, the addition of one electron give rise to the superoxide ion, the O2 minus, and the addition of two electrons converts it into a peroxide ion, O2 2 minus. The bond order and hence the internuclear oxygen oxygen distances are greatly influenced by the charge on each oxygen in the dioxygen molecule. The internuclear distances is highest in peroxide ion because higher the number of antibonding electrons on the bonded atom more is the repulsion between the two bonded atoms. So we can see in this table the bond order and internuclear distances between the oxygen oxygen in various dioxygen species. For example, the dioxygenyl cation has a bond order of 2.5 and has an internuclear spacing of 111.6 picometer. Whereas the superoxide ion O2- minus has a bond order of 1.5. Whereas the peroxide ion, the O2-2- minus dion ion has a bond order of 1 and an internuclear distance of 150.4 picometer. So we can see that the bond distance is greatly influenced by the 
number of electrons on each oxygen in the dioxygen molecule. Now we will see the reactivity of dioxygen. Among the several charge form of the dioxygen molecule, the neutral dioxygen has the ability to coordinate with transition metal ions and form metal complexes. Dioxygen is a strong oxidizing agent and display reactivity in three different ways. For example, despite restrictions of spin conversion, a light energy source can excite the dioxygen molecule from triplet ground state to the singlet ground state. The singlet oxygen thus generated is highly reactive and readily reacts with many singlet molecules such as olefins to show various oxidation reactions. For example, in this reaction, the triplet dioxygen has the ability to make complexes with transition metal ions. For example, dioxygen binds with the metal ion in dioxygenase enzymes in order to carry out oxidation of various substrates. It also binds with iron in hemoglobin. The triplet dioxygen reacts with certain organic compounds in biological systems. For example, this reaction where it is reacting with an alkyl forming the alkyl radical. In aerobic organisms such as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, it is a major source of electron carrier, the reduced form of which transfers electron to dioxygen. Now we will see what are the common bonding modes of dion of dioxygen in metal complexes. In molecular metal complexes such as mononuclear di complexes, dioxygen binds in two different forms such as endon or sidon. We can see that in the two forms such as the endo endon form, one of the oxygen binds whereas in the sidon mode both the oxygens bind. The endon binding mode is generally found in myoglobin and hemoglobin and the binding is believed to take place by the transfer of an electron from metal to the dioxygen generating the superoxide anion O2-. Whereas in the sidon mode the most common binding mode in dioxygen coordination complexes. This mode is often seen in dioxygen binding to the Vasquez complex and various other metal complexes where both the oxygen bind to the metal ion. In binuclear metal complexes of dioxygen, the superoxo and peroxo dioxygen displayed binuclear bonding modes in metal complexes containing two metal ions where the dioxygen molecule is bonded to the metal ions. Here we can see various forms of binuclear metal complexes of dioxygen. Here we can see few examples. Now we will see dioxygen metal complexes. Dioxygen binds with nearly all transition metal ions where the oxidation states of these metal ions in their respective dioxygen complexes ranges from 2 to 6 which is often higher than their common oxidation state. Generally these metal complexes are diamagnetic in nature whereas paramagnetic metal complexes are also known in the literature. These dioxygen metal complexes also contain various types of hard and soft ligands. Hard ligands such as fluorine and soft ligands such as carbon monoxide or phosphine based. The coordination number in these metal complexes varies from 2 to 8. Few important dioxygen metal complexes are for example the hemoglobin and myoglobin. These are the globular proteins that bind and deliver dioxygen and they are of extreme importance for vertebrate life. Hemoglobin is found in cytosols of red blood cells whereas myoglobin is found in muscle cells. Both contains a porphyrin subunit with an iron 2 plus ion at the center of the porphyrin rings which binds with dioxygen. We can see the structure of hemoglobin and oxyhemoglobin. 
secondly the vascas complex is named as trans chlorocarbonyl bis triphenyl phosphine iridium 1 this is a square planar diamagnetic organometallic complex it can reversibly reversibly bind dioxygen and has a change in oxidation state of iridium from 1 to 3 which is called oxidative addition thirdly we see hemocyanin hemocyanins are dioxygen transporting molecules dioxyhemocyanin is a colorless copper histidine complex where two units bind with the dioxin molecule resulting in a dinuclear blue color complex the dioxygen molecule binds to two copper ions in a mu2 neta2 neta2 peroxo o22 minus fashion now we'll see synthesis of dioxygen metal complexes the most useful and widely applied method to synthesize dioxygen metal complexes is to expose the metal ion solution to gaseous dioxygen this can be done either by using dioxygen saturated solvents or by resulting bubbling dioxygen in the metal ion solution the final product containing dioxygen bonded metal complex can be obtained by precipitation using suitable solvents the formation of a dioxygen metal complex by this method is also referred as oxygen activation in this process when the dioxygen binds to a metal ion reversibly these complexes are also termed as synthetic oxygen carriers on the other hand the irreversible dioxygen binding generally leads to oxidation of metal ion to higher oxidation state which are useful compounds for homogeneous catalytic oxidation here we can see one of the examples the reaction was done by treating precursor rhodium 1 complex with dioxygen at 3 atmosphere the red color precursor complex immediately reacts with dioxygen to form a dark red color product complex in C6D6 here we can see a copper example where the peroxo dicopper complex can be synthesized in more than one ways the injection of a solution of copper acetonitrile complex into a peroxygenated imidazole ligand solution or the injection of a ligand solution into the peroxygenated copper one solution leads to the final product in almost similar yields product can also be synthesized by oxygenation of copper one imidazole complex which can be done by bubbling dry oxygen through a solution of copper one imidazole precursor complex other routes for the synthesis of dioxygen metal complexes involves dioxygen as a ligand from superoxides and peroxides this complex is generally contains cobalt and iron now we can summarize the dioxygen metal complexes are an extremely important class of metal complexes that are involved in biological physical and industrial processes the dioxygen metal complexes are studied in two aspects where the naturally occurring oxygen system are studied to understand the mechanism of oxygen carrying and storage on the other hand the synthetic dioxygen complexes finds application as artificial oxygen carriers and in homogeneous catalysis according to molecular orbital theory dioxygen is a paramagnetic species which can bind with almost all the transition metal ions in various bonding modes it acts as a strong oxidant in the singlet form in metal complexes dioxygen binds as a superoxide or a peroxide species dioxygen metal complexes are mainly synthesized by the reaction of metal ions with gaseous oxygen the other methods to synthesize dioxygen metal complexes involve the use of peroxide and superoxide anions